What is a vector? I think an arrow is a good representation. It's got a direction, it's got a length. I'm going to call this vector V. And I'm going to set its direction and length like this. Okay, now sometimes if you're using the maybe the software MATLAB, a, what they call a vector is really a, a list of numbers like 1, 2, or 5, 3, something like that, a, a list of numbers. This, this, a vec this vector isn't really a list of numbers, it's just an arrow that has a length and a direction, but you can, give, you can use numbers to describe it. And one way you could do that is with these basis vectors. Another way would be with different basis vectors, and I'll show that in, in, in a moment. But if you use these, a1 and a2, and those aren't uh, exponents, those are just superscripts. The 1 and the 2 are just superscripts to let you know that the a, a1 and a2 are two different vectors. So you, the way you would use these is you could you could say, well, I have to take about two steps uh, of these, two of these A1 steps to get out far enough here, and I have to take like one A2 step of this step size. So you would say the, the numbers that you use to represent this vector are 2, 1. And if you're in, if you're trying to represent this in something like MATLAB, then that would be that would be your two element matrix that you would use. You know, it, it'd be two one. Um, now, if you have different basis vectors, b one and b two. Now you can see that uh, if you want to you want to represent these this uh, with B1 and B2 you need to kind of count how many steps it takes to get out here and let me show you just technically what I mean when I say counting steps so I took two steps in the B1 direction and I, I drew a dotted line perpendicular to the B1 direction and I want to make sure that after you know after two well in this case in, in two steps I, I've gone out far enough that the the arrowhead the head of this vector lands exactly on this dotted line that I drew perpendicular to B1 so that means uh, two is going to be the the scalar component that goes with B1. You're going to multiply 2 times B1 to get the component in this direction along B1. And now we want to look at the B2 direction. Now since we're looking at the B2 direction, the B2 direction, I drew a dotted line perpendicular to B2 and I made sure that it goes, um, that it comes right up to this vector head, goes right through the head of this vector v, and that way I can see on the on the b2. You can call this the axis that corresponds to the b2 vector here. I, I can see how far we need to move along that, and it's something like point. Four. You see it's not quite halfway, so I'll call that point 0.4. So the numbers that we would use to represent this vector v would be the, the 2, because we, we went out 2 in this direction, and the point 0.4. So it would be 2 and then point 0.4. Those would be the, the two numbers that we use. If we're in the, uh, we're using these b1 and b2 for the, the basis vectors. But in either case, it's always the vector v.